What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel. Check out the content. And with that being said, man, I'm, I'm going to speak, go right into this topic. And and uh, it's, it's a little bit of a rant. And it, it's about LeBron James and his uh, his just his this disrespect for the for the game of basketball, you know, and that just leads me to think that if LeBron really was the GOAT, you know, he would have more respect for the game. Um, the moves that LeBron have made, you know, like recently over the last couple of years have just um, just proved that LeBron don't have any respect for the game. And, you know, I'm, I'm just not used to seeing, you know, any of the great basketball players, you know, just be selfish to this to this, um, you know, to this degree. Um, you know, the fact that he he brought his son in um, and his son is is somebody who everybody knows who, who's not qualified, you know, to be on the team. But that, you know, to me, that, that's just disrespectful to the game. And I can't see, uh, you know, uh, Michael Jordan, you know, Michael Jordan letting his sons play basketball, knowing that they wasn't qualified. You know, I couldn't see. Um, you know, Magic Johnson had, you know, Magic Johnson got two sons. Um, uh, who else? Isaiah Thomas has a son. You know, like LeBron James is not the first basketball player to have a son. And to 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 disrespect the game like he has and, and have his son on the team, somebody who's, like I said, who's not qualified to be on the team, I think it's disrespectful. You know, um, you know, and um, it, it's 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 really just this this season is really going to show. I, I think like the Lakers fans are going to um, resent the amount of disrespect that LeBron has for the game. Um, you know, every time I hear Magic Johnson talk or or uh, or Michael Jordan make a statement or Larry Bird, one of those guys, Dominique Wilkins, you know, it's it's always about it's about the game or it's about like their experience, you know, playing against each other and stuff like that. But LeBron is, is just on this quest to be, you know, considered the goat. And, um, he, he just made a lot of missteps in that. And, and, you know, and he made himself just look so selfish. And like I said, and, and some of the moves are just disrespectful, you know, another disrespectful move is to bring in, um, you know, a guy who he know that's not qualified, like um, J.J. Reddick. You know, everybody knows that J.J. Reddick is not is not qualified to be a head coach. And so, you know, to to help facilitate, you know, J.J. Reddick coming in is, again, just not a good move. Um, you know, if the fans want to see, um, you know, they want to see winning – they want to see you make moves that's going to make the team better. You know, that's that's going to help the teams win. I remember when Kobe was with the Lakers. Kobe wanted to he wanted to win so bad. He he threatened to leave the Lakers. You know, if they didn't make moves that would make the team better. And so I, I can't see how bringing on a, a head coach who has no experience. Um, at any level, not high school, not uh, college, you know, uh, not as a system coach at the pro level. And to bring him on, I don't see how that makes um, the Lakers better, you know. And so none of the moves, you know, if, if you're a basketball fan or even a, a Lakers fan, you know, you, you got to feel disrespected because, uh, you know, everything that LeBron is doing is, is mainly just to please LeBron. And so, but I do think that these moves are going to, um, to backfire on LeBron. You know, I think he's going to take like the brunt of the heat when it comes to, um, you know, the backlash he's going to receive from Lakers fans because Lakers fans have a, um, they have a high expectation for success, you know, and, and, and LeBron, has not met that expectation. And then on top of not meeting those expectations, he is um 
you know, I mean, he's just really just doing what he whatever pleases him as far as this this team goes. And and I think that um this season, I think all of that stuff will um it's gonna come to a head, especially because I don't even think the Lakers are going to be good enough to even make the playoffs. And so if they don't make the playoffs, um, and then what are they doing as far as like um, you know, featuring Bronny James, somebody who don't belong in there. Um, even Magic Johnson said that Bronny James should spend the bulk of this season, he should be down in the G League, you know, and, and that's what Magic Johnson said. Like he shouldn't see any significant minutes in um you know in on a in on a Lakers team like in a jersey you shouldn't see any significant minutes because everybody know and pe- people just really just especially magic and, and and the other guys in the league and people on the team just trying to probably be uh just try to be polite about the situation but but at the same time they're being honest because Bronny James is just not qualified to be a professional basketball player you know, and especially on a team that has the kind of history and the uh, the the the, uh, the expectations every year of going to the playoffs, at least going to the playoffs or trying to win a championship. You know, um, this is going to be an interesting season for uh, for the Lakers, and I think, like I said, you know, like everything LeBron has done has really been disrespectful to the game of basketball. I couldn't see uh, Magic doing this. Never could see Kobe doing this, um, you know, Kareem, you know, none of the great Lakers, you know, I, I, well, no Laker at all could I see them doing this to that franchise, um, you know, and yeah, I, I think LeBron, I think LeBron after this season, you know, I think they'll, uh, I think he, he's going to, something's going to happen where so he's going to regret the decisions that he made as far as, you know, you know, bringing in people who are not, who are not able to help this team win, you know? And um, so that, yeah, that's my take on it. You know, basically my rant, but um, let me know what you think. Do you think that, um, you know, do you agree? Do you feel like LeBron James is just so disrespectful to the game? You know, um, every year, you know, it, every ball player that, that, uh, that, you know, once they get that championship taste, Kobe, Magic, uh, Bird, Mike, all those guys, uh, Isaiah, man, they just played hard as they could to the wheels fall off, to the to the wheels fell off, you know, until they was wasn't able to play anymore, you know, and um, you know, Le- LeBron just recently did an interview where he said he don't think that he had anything else to prove, you know, um, or anything else left to accomplish as far as as uh you know, as the game is concerned. And, and my opinion on that is if you don't have anything to accomplish, then why even play? You know, why even play? And, you know, it's just another sign of disrespect. You know, people, when if you can play, people want to see you play at your best. And if you can't play, then people, you know, they are, okay, we respect that. And, you know, you can just walk away. But, um, yeah, it's, it's if you don't have anything, if he feel like he don't have anything to prove, then he really shouldn't be out there. Because he's cheating himself, he's cheating the game, he's cheating the fans, and um, yeah, like I said, that's my my take on the situation. Um, let me know if you agree or how you feel about LeBron. You know the moves he's made lately. And uh, with that being said, I will check you all out on the next video.